I got sugar. Hello, I'm gay. Next tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as a festive maniac that's hyped up on sugar. Yeah. It's just something I sat down and made up on the spot. I knew I wanted to do something festive, I knew I wanted to do something with sweets. That's what I come up with, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> it's just a crazy silly makeup. It's meant to just be silly and funny and not to be taken too seriously. So, as always, there's not much to say about this makeup other than if you'd like to learn how to recreate it, Stay tuned. So much sugar. So let's get this festive ball rolling. So I'm gonna start by taking my Corolla face liner pencil, and with that I'm gonna do a couple little dots on my face just so I know where I'm not gonna be doing any makeup because with this look I'm gonna try something new. It might work, it might not, hopefully it will. <laughs> and that's the top half of my face is gonna be covered. You see what I mean by that later as I go along, but what I mean by that is this half of my face is not gonna have any makeup done to it. So I'm just gonna do some dots just so I know where not to go about basically. That way I'll be able to get things in proportion. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna have a big, huge, smiling, hyper mouth, leaving enough room for two fake eyes that I'm gonna be sticking either side of my nose, but they should be positioned just the right height, a little tiny bit above my nose to draw attention away from my natural eyes. That's the theory. So, now I can take my face on my pencil and I can start tracing on the shape that I want for the mouth, leaving enough room, as I said, for two fake eyes. And of course, some expression lines. I'm going to take a pure white chameleon watercolour and I'm going to use that to paint on the teeth. Then, taking a number 32 pink watercolour by Wolf, I'm going to go just really thinly along the underside of each tooth on the top and bottom because after that I can go on with a red and that's going to form the gum line. Then I can do exactly the same as I said with a red watercolour, this one's by Superstar. So I'm going to fill in this entire bottom area here and a really thin layer on top. So the gum line's going to be more protruding on the bottom half. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline New York Master Ink Liquid Eyeliner and with that I'm going to go over each tooth and colour in the sides area here. The reason why I've left these blank is because that's going to be completely black and faded towards the middle afterwards. Then taking a tiny amount of a black cream, I'm going to be using a MAC paint stick. I'm going to take off most of the colour just enough so it leaves a nice soft gradient and with that I can apply it to the edge of the black and sweep it in one direction going this way. So going towards the centre, only going over maybe one of the teeth because I've made quite big cartoony teeth. So I'm going to pull it across along the gum line and the tooth so the black will fade outwards. That way it will look like the teeth are coming out from the cheeks, just adds more depth. So the next step is going to be working out where I'm going to be putting my eyes because once I've got that placement I'll be able to work out the wrinkle lines and the expression lines of the mouth and the extra lip that I'm going to be drawing on. So the eyes I'm going to be using I've actually had for a very 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 long time, they're actually Grimace dull eyes. So just regular dull eyes that you can get off eBay but the difference is the Grimace ones have little plinth on so I'm able to stick them down a little bit more, there's more surface area there. So the idea with this is I'm going to stick them about there, a little bit higher than my nose and then cover this half of my face so it's just these eyes that you can see. I just think it'll look quite cute and wacky. And just hyper. So I'm going to take my Crowland pencil once again and I'm just going to line up where I want the eyes to go and then draw a line underneath it just so I know how much room I've got to play with with the mouth and the lip and the expression lines. Then I can work on the expression lines. So with that I'm going to use two Crowland TV paint sticks, one in 9W so quite a dark shade that's a contrast to my own skin tone just to create a shadow and a 1W which is a really light pale shade so that'll act as my highlight. Obviously you can adjust these tones to your own natural skin colour. And to start off with, I'm going to take the 9W and I'm going to start tracing on the shapes that I want for the nasal labial folds, which are going to be quite low because I'm bringing things in a lot closer together since the eyes are going to be there. But I'm just going to trace on some shapes, just roughly, just so you can see where I've gone and I can start blending that outwards. Mm -hmm. 
So I've just done the top half for now, but with these colours I'm going to blend them all completely upwards. So there's a harsh line underneath, on the underside, and the blended off area is on top. can take my 1W paint stick and go on the inside of these lines on my cheek and directly underneath this line for my nasal labial fold. I'm also going to curl my nose in a little bit and go around my nostrils but closer in than they would usually be just so my nose looks a bit smaller on the end. Then taking the same brown cream again, I'm going to start drawing on a bottom lip line. So it's going to be about a centimetre lower than the actual mouth that I've drawn and it's going to go up and get smaller and smaller until it joins into the sides of the mouth. Then on the centre part I'm going to take some more of the brown colour and blend it downwards. Then I can do the same again on top, but a really thin top lip, but it's only going to be the middle half of the face. Then I can colour the inside of the lip on the top and bottom with the same wolf pink colour that I use for the gum line. So then, back to the eyes. With the Grimace eyes, I actually got two different colours rather than matching. I just thought it'd look a bit more crazy because one of the pupils looks a lot smaller. I've got one in blue and one in like a silver. I just thought it makes it look a lot more spaced out and just crazy. So the idea is I'm going to apply some spirit gum to the back of these and stick them just above the nasal labial folds that I've drawn and just below my natural eyes. So yeah. You get the idea. <laughs> so then I'm going to take the white watercolour and I'm going to add a little dribble line just going down the lip. Then I'm going to do a few tension lines on the neck I think just because if you're smiling this much and you're this hyper you get the whole hang on. So if I do that, god that looks gross but you get the idea. <laughs> So I'm going to take the brown cream and draw some throngs of muscle. Well, I never thought I'd ever say that, but you get the idea. So two lines going up around the neck. So I'm going to do maybe eight, I think. I'm not sure, but either way, when I draw the lines, I need to blend them out because I can highlight down the middle of them afterwards. Then I'm just going to take the 1W paint stick again by Crowland and just go down the centre of each of these lines. So there we are, so nothing special, it just makes it look a little bit more animated. I think a lot of this is going to be covered by my costume anyway, it's just extra little details to make it look a bit more interesting. So then, all that's left really for me to do is pop on my hat, pop on my costume, and I think I'm done. So much of that. And there we go. That's my look officially complete. So I popped on a costume, which is just one of my generic straight jackets that I happen to have lying around. <laughs> I just put some sweeties all over it because, yeah, I think that adds to the whole hyperness of this. And of course, the thing that makes this look work, the hat. Yay. So I've got the hat down about my eye level, so I can still see perfectly fine. But fortunately, these dull eyes hopefully detract from my eyes. So, yeah. So yeah, it's probably one of my more simple makeups, but I've never done this type of thing before and I just thought it might be fun. Never know, might start a new trend. <laughs> it's probably one of the few makeups I've done where I've not involved latex or blocked out my eyebrows. It's nice to try new things sometimes, isn't it? So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my festive, sugary, hyped up makeup. If you like it, please make sure to yeah, now the usual. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye guys. Sure.